Hello everyone, welcome to another long video. This is going to be an edited and raw video, drawing video using colored pencils. And uh, I just decided because it's been raining outside and uh, I don't have anything to do but to just try to show you in real time as real as it can get uh, how I uh, do this drawing. And uh, if you haven't seen the part one of this video, it's in my description, the link and pinned in the comment section, the part one where I was able to build the shadows already here using colored pencils. I use black, dark brown and light brown and white for the highlights. Now, the only problem here now lies on the coloring of the skin tone. I know, especially for most beginners who are watching right now, I understand the difficulty of finding the exact combination of colors to be able to make realistic skin tone exactly as this reference photo but if you are a beginner you don't have to stress too much on on making it look exactly or i mean the tone or the color it doesn't matter if uh, it's not exact with your reference photo but here i'm gonna show you exactly how i choose my colors to make it look like this as much as possible and what is the technique that i use to do that but the more important thing here is i don't have uh, any more problem with the shadows because i was able to block in everything here you see the entire uh, figure of the, the faces and i know that uh, they have great resemblance already with my reference photo now the only problem now is which is a bit challenging but uh, i really enjoy challenges I, I i've been studying about this kind of things for a couple of years so now i can say that it's a bit easy for me but for beginners when i was a beginner this is really stressful to be able to choose especially if you have a lot of colors on your palette you have big uh, you know big uh, sets of colored pencils and it's really hard to find the few or uh, the colors to use to combine together and this is what i'm going to show you on this video so i hope you don't get bored this is going to be boring because this is long and this is raw and unedited and i want to be as real as possible in terms of uh, coloring the skin tone so uh, if you are interested with that kind of this kind of video the long uh, drawing tutorial using colored pencils i hope you find time to watch the entire video even if this is going to be long even if my english is not very good even if my accent is a bit annoying because uh, ha yeah that's how i I speak and uh, I know you are very tolerant and I'm so grateful that uh, you understand everything and uh, that you appreciate my uh, drawings and my tutorials. So watch out for this uh, real-time raw unedited drawing tutorial using colored pencils. Okay, so the first thing that I would do is to look closely at my reference photo and try to analyze the colors that is or that are uh, in the skin tone but what I would do first is I look from afar and I try to figure out uh, looking at the reference photo what is the most dominant mid-tone color or the one color that you may use the most with the skin tone whether to layer the, the, the mid-tones or even to blend the darker shadows so this pencil should be not the very dark which is something that you can find on your dark shadows so that is not what I, we are looking for here what we are looking for is that one pencil that when you look from afar you can see that that partic particular tone dominates the entire uh, photo or the entire figure so what is that mid-tone uh, color not very light not very dark something in the middle that dominates the entire feature or the entire skin tone so you, you should see that when you try to look closely and understand your reference photo so let me find that color that i can see here so i have more or less an idea of what is that mid-tone color but uh, let me see here on my uh, set of prisma color if i can find this overall tone or mid-tone that dominates uh, that is just one pencil that is one pencil let's try to find that one pencil it's very important because that pencil is something that will you know that will establish the the basic tone the entire tone of your drawing so let me let us see here on our uh, set right here so let's try to see maybe this is let us see this pencil So I'm trying to see if this is this pencil, but maybe not because this is a bit more orangey. So I need something with a little bit pinkish, as you can see. So it may not be the one. So let me see something a little bit uh, pinkish color. By the way, that color a while ago is the salmon pink, but that's, that is not what I'm looking for. Let's try this pinkish color right here. Let me see. well as you can see here this is a little bit too pinkish so maybe uh, this is not something between that a bit orange and a bit pinkish flesh color so let's try to figure out that particular color let's see, let's see. maybe 
give this one. What's this? This is the pink rose. No, that's it. I think that's going to be a bit more pinkish. How about this? How about this? Deco peach. Or oh, maybe this one. This is peach. Why not? This is the safest tone that I uh, can find right here. I think this is it. I think this is that color that dominates the, the entire skin tone with a touch. This is peach, so the, it has a little bit orangey and pinkish flav uh, flavor, pinkish tone. I think this is going to be it. Let's see. Let's try here. Yeah, I think here. Can you see? Can you see the resemblance on the overall tone of the portrait? So this is perfect. We, we have found, that is the first part, we have found this uh, one basic color that uh, will dominate our portrait because this is the tone of the overall reference photo so we successfully have found it now let's try to find the rest of the colors so the dominant mid-tone that we have chosen is the pc939 or the peach so this is going to be the the main color of the portrait so it's really important because this is something in the middle of everything so let's put right here in the middle this uh, dominant mid-tone color and now what we're going to figure out is what are the darker side for the darker shadows and the lighter side or the more saturated or bright part of our skin tone so let's see uh it should not be difficult because especially for the shadows you just pick the standards the, the, the standard darker colors but based on my reference i can see to be more safe for the very dark i just chose the dark brown just the dark brown or you can use any shade of um brown uh, you can choose reddish browns as long as this is dark enough to build on your darker skin tone here um, Yeah, I chose just the dark brown and then for uh, not not very dark But still dark shadow right here, which is a bit uh, You know greenish I can see in the reference. There's a bit of a greenish dark tone So I decided to use this this very nice color. This is PC 1098 or the artichoke. This is the artichoke color. So just put it here so these are the skin that i may use i i can adjust later on as i draw when i needed to add some color or i needed to to, to uh, when i decided to not to use the color that i that i uh, that i already chosen so you can just be flexible with your coloring but here i'm just speaking more or less what are the colors that i should use to be able to build this skin tone now i need something a little bit more reddish but very dark or not very dark a little bit darker than our mid tone here so uh, just a little bit reddish here so i might use very nice color the burnt ochre very safe color so you can just get it it is it, one of the most flexible color for the skin tone especially for the darker side of the shadow right here so remember this is our mid so these are the dark sides i think i just have to be contented the skin tone is not very uh, colorful compared to other reference photos so you can just select just uh, this one of course black and white is uh, you, you cannot uh, miss or black and white you really need the, the black and white i'm not including the black and white here because uh, uh it's understandable that we will need to use the black and the white for very dark shadows so this is the darker side the mid now let's see here the more saturated the brighter color side here let's try to pick but always based on my reference photo by the way i was using a gray tone paper so basically this is just just the same when you're using a white paper but i can feel that using gray tone paper provides me with a toned tooth of the paper so i might not need to 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 burnish heavily on this particular portrait because it's not going to be very difficult to hide the tooth of the paper as this is a tone paper and i am the one adding highlights here if i needed some white highlights but if you are using a white paper it's basically just the same you can just use the whiteness of the paper for the highlights or you can use white pencil also for the highlights or for the light tones of your portrait so uh i use gray tone paper because this is two heads and i feel like it can cut down significantly the amount of time that i'm going to be using here on a tone paper compared to the white paper so i might be able to to draw quickly or uh, in my experience i can say that it's a bit quicker or faster to draw on a tone paper compared to white paper because here i'm provided with a very nice solid grayish mid-tone right here so what i'm gonna do is just uh uh, provide with the darker tone and then the lighter tone now we have here the mid uh, which is very nice what you can see on the, the majority of the skin tone we have the darker side here now for the lighter side this is a bit like uh, more or less just like to tone 
the, the, the skin tone or even to blend the skin tone because these are uh, really nice light colors. So I might need uh, Peach Beige PC 1085 right here. Very light and uh, I can use it as a blender, I think. And to also to correct the tone of the skin or the paper. The paper is gray, so I need to tone it uh, the way, the, the, the with the color that I can see with the reference. So this is, uh, I can use this. And then some flesh. What is this? This is uh, Deco Peach. So this is lighter here and more like a flesh pinkish color so so again this is the mid so this is the light this is the dark and then i will use also cream cream because i can see that there is a bit of a touch of a yellowish color in the skin tone and of course the white for the highlights as a blender or this is very nice um because of the tone paper i can use the white for the highlights and i can use it also to blend especially the light tone so these are the light colors or I should say the blenders for the skin tone. This is our mid tone, the, the dominant mid tone, and this is our dark uh, for the dark shadows. These three. So as you can see here, compared to drawing on a white paper in a tone paper, I realized that uh, I sh I would need uh, just two, four, six, eight, just eight colors to be able to capture this uh, skin tone. Uh, compared to white paper, I think I would need uh, some more colors. But here I'm satisfied with this palette. But I may adjust as I draw. I would see if I needed to add something, some colors, or if I might need, uh, I, I might not use some of these colors too. So, uh, this is how I pick the colors that I use for the skin tones. So, uh, again, this is not very easy to do, but uh, as you can see here, this is the process. This is the process that I use to be able to uh, get as close as possible with the reference photo. Now I want to show you a quick test on the colors that we picked to make sure that we are on the right track. So we start with the darkest color. This is the dark brown. So let's just try it here on this part. And another thing with using a tone paper, uh, layering is not very uh, hard to do. And uh, even blending is going to be easy with the tone paper. And, because, and we don't need to layer a lot of colors to achieve the contrast that we need because uh, of the tone of the paper so this is the dark brown so using circular motion i'm just uh, layering it on the base of my reference right here on the right side in between the hair her hair and his cheek right here so very nice again uh, if you haven't seen the part one of this video where we block in where we sketch and uh, now we were able to identify our shadows because of that uh, blocking in of shadow parts so if you haven't seen it i suggest that you go on after watching this video or even before you watch this video i uh, suggest that you watch that video on how i uh, was able to do up to you know this part of the drawing and here on the side of the nose just a little bit of the dark brown and then the next dark shadow is the artichoke this is very nice greenish color so let's just try because this is a bit a bit shadow this part of the cheek compared here this is a bit darker so let's just put this artichoke on uh, the entire cheek right here to be able to create this very nice darker shade right here it's really nice to use greenish tone on the skin tone because uh, as part of uh, the human flesh uh, you can see a really nice touch of green here i'm using uh, a dark shadow a dark shadowed green light here which is the artichoke so if you use prismacolor just look for the artichoke or if you use other color pencils you just try to look for this shade i know you are familiar with this brownish greenish shade right here and then the next darker pencil is the burnt ochre right here let's sharpen it okay so here so the, the, the sharpener that i use with my colored pencils are this heavy single hole metal uh sharpener uh yeah this lasts quite long and uh, it sharpens very sharply and a bit longer compared to other sharpeners right here so this is the burnt ochre it should make the skin tone a little bit more bright but still dark because this has a very ni nice dark color also just to tone the darker shadows right here especially here 
on the softer dark shadow here on the side of the face again I hope you are not I'm not getting uh, you know I'm not making you <laughs> bored with this tutorial because uh, I just want to show you how I do the, the exact process in the real time so especially for beginners so you'll have an idea on how I build my uh, skin tone uh, for beginners uh, I'm not uh, forcing you to use uh, gray tone paper I think using gray tone paper is has a bit of a, a, a relationship with my reference photo but uh, you can use white but uh, I, I really recommend uh, you uh, investing on a quality uh, drawing paper because uh, sometimes the, the, the beauty of the drawing is depends on the paper also not just on the pencil that you use so if you invest on pencils you should also invest on quality a little bit pricey compared to regular papers um, but uh, you will never you know you will never regret buying uh, quality papers the tooth of the paper is really important because uh, colored pencils are dependent on quality textures or tooth of the paper now i'm gonna use our dominant mid-tone right here which is the peach so you are just gonna layer it um, a little bit stronger on almost the, the entire part of this uh, uh, cheek part of the, the glowing right here so i'm gonna especially on the middle part right here so using circular motion and then even on the darker shadows right here and here so it is correcting everything and blending the pencils that we added right here and creating a skin tone or tone that is similar with our reference photo as you can see here okay so now we might not be able to use much of these lighter pencils the lighter side pencils on this part because this is a bit shadowed but i think uh, we will be able to maximize these lighter pencils on here on the uh this part of the face but uh i think there are some lighter parts right here in the middle so we can just use this very lightly this is the the lighter uh part this is the, de the deco pitch right here and up here and then I'm gonna tone it with a little bit of this cream, very light yellowish color. This is the cream, so just very lightly. All right, and then lastly, the what's this? The peach beige, peach beige. This is going to be uh, just a blender. But we don't need uh, too much blending here because uh, the skin tone is already looks very smooth already maybe with the help of the tooth or, or rather with the help of the tone of the paper so this is basically you know we were able to establish already the skin tone as uh, you know as you can see with our reference photo it's really it really got really close to the skin tone based on our reference photo and i'm so happy with that and uh, if you need you can just go back uh, if you want to make some parts a little bit darker and heavier you can just go back and forth with the same pencils that you use just to perfect the skin tone so i will not use white here because uh, as you can see this it has this part has a heavier shadow so i might use the white on these parts right here so when we complete our portrait i just show you uh, a piece of uh, the drawing so we will be able to test all the colors that we chose a while ago and i'm happy with the result so yeah that's it can you see it there so what i do on the next part of the video and what i want i want you to show is how i color the entire uh, drawing and of course the eyes let's see i might use several shades of blue on the eyes and their eyes have a similar tone so i might use same tones of blues and black 
and a little bit of green on the eyes so uh and that's going to be on part two of this real time video so see you then thank you very much for watching thank you so much for sticking with this very long video thank you bye bye i hope you learned something and uh if you did i hope you can subscribe with my channel and to push the notification bell and also uh, don't forget if you want you can share also this video to people who you think might be interested in this kind of drawing tutorial thank you very much this is bmt portraits thank you thank you bye bye